This is Hops. He's a two-year-old golden retriever. His brother graduated our program a couple years ago. Um, she said he knows his stuff, but very little impulse control. You'll tell him to get on place, he'll get right off. Um, issues with other male dogs, although he's fine with the male housemate. So real okay, tense. So that's his real, that's his main reason. Yes, that, right? yes. Just, you know, to get your diagnosis, see what's going on. Um, okay. Likes people. Good. He's had an e-collar on, um, and she does use it for recall with the tongue. What do you see? Okay, so they, they've done some decal training with him? Yes, however, she, you know, she said he won't hold commands. Okay. <laughs> he won't stay on place, but he does recall with the tongue. <laughs> Such a golden. Ball? Yeah. This is, this is, this is ball? Yeah. She said like after he pees and marks, he'll dig up the dirt real firm and aggressively. These all sound like dominant Yes, issues. I agree. Sure. Lays down when he sees another dog waiting for him to get up close. immediate pressure if he doesn't immediately respond to the tone. Yeah. He's like, maybe I can scratch it away. Yeah. Stay. I gotta start talking to him now. Stay. You stay. Okay. No one's ever done anything like that. I had to take my opportunity when I did it with a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. See that little mm -hmm. there? There's some dominance stuff. Mm -hmm. He wants to leave the conversation. Yeah, he says, I know what this is doing. I'm using my arm like a dog would use their head. Yep. A dog would put their head mm -hmm. over here. I'm not going to put my head over there, right? But, yeah, he says, I don't like yet. that. But then he can't, he can't ignore the recall. Exactly, he can, but this is like, okay, but he's getting his corrections when he runs away. Good. So that's submission. A degree of it. Good. And this is more. Good. This is post correction, right? I told him to stay. I threw the ball over into the bucket. He broke his stay. I corrected him. He went past the correction. I gave him a little wonk. Um, snapped him out of it, you know what I mean? And then can, did the ritual here. Good. This will give me social influence over him in the pack when other dogs come. So it shouldn't be as bad. It sh I should be able to make progress with the response that he gives me, I should say. Uh, I should be able to be relevant enough to talk to him about his response. Alright? Good. Well. Wow. We're going to build on each experience. So we're stacking our experiences to get to change his belief system so that he becomes a follower, right? He wants to be dominant. Right? It's clear as day. So we just had a conversation over resources, technically. He used the tennis ball, I put it away, I told him to stay. He clearly knows his commands. Um, and he gave me an opportunity to correct him. When I corrected him, he didn't take it as, as serious as I wanted him to. Um, so I bumped, right? Clear the cobwebs. And then I follow through with my little interaction there to, to show him that I want submission. So it gives me submission, and I give him affection. Now, this is why it matters. It's over a resource. Right now, the resource is a ball. If the resource is anything he wants or needs, so that means other dogs, which is one of his primary goals, right? or food, or toys, or anything, squirrels. It's, I get first access, so look, he'll let me. And that goes for the dogs that come in too. Not to say he won't make a mistake with me here, because you know, he, he was likely to. It's just, I'm going to, do, he'll get corrected for doing that, and then I'll ask for submission, and then we'll reset. 
and then he'll eventually see, oh, it's the resource. That's why I'm correcting him. I'm not necessarily correcting him for even fighting with the dog. I'm, I'm correcting him for trying to decide how to deal with it. Yes, because it's yours. It's mine. Yes. That makes the most sense to them. Yes. Just, especially with a guy like this, like he wants it, he gets it. You know, it, it's simple terms. If you stay back, you know, I'll direct you through it. Follow the leader kind of thing. And we're entering it through a resource. Because that's all they care about, these guys, you know? These kids, that's why they care about hierarchy so much. Because they're settling the dispute of who gets first access to the resources. Very primal. Yeah, very primal. So if I can enter that way then and win that and explain to him that I need submission like another dog would get, look at who's giving me. Now he's likely to listen. It's only something a group of humans would do if they are stranded on an island with limited resources. Like we're not right, fighting right, with right, each right. other over food. We're not fighting with exactly. each other over, yeah. uh, you know, you, you see it a little bit with guys. They'll size each other up. Um, I think it's a natural yeah, thing, yeah, it's in, but they're yeah. not like marking over each other. And we have our own way of expressing yes. it, but we're, we're more sophisticated. Yes, we're not. politically correct. But uh, these guys, it's what they care about, right? Yeah. It's where they live. So I have to, you, you know, they're living in the natural world thinking about that stuff. So um, we can play that game too. We're still natural beings, right? We're not quite robots yet. I mean, we still, hopefully we're still human here. Uh, I can, I can claim, make a hierarchy here. He wants to be part of our pack. That's cool. I love that about him. He's, he's, he's like, yes, we're friends. Cool. We just talked about hierarchy. He is so cool with it. He's like, he's, he's like, I love this. He made a couple talking. feeble attempts to leave yeah, and then yeah. he was like, fine. But he feels good <laughs> because we talked about the conversation that he wants to talk about. Like that he, he's almost needing somebody to put him in his place, if you will. Because if he thinks he's higher up than he is, he'll be stressed. He'll yes. overreact and be a quote unquote bad dog. But if he's where he's supposed to be in the pack, which is going to be a follower to a human, uh, and he accepts that, guess what? Then he listens. Yeah. We maintain it by correcting when he starts to go off the, you know, off the wagon a little bit. But for the most part, long stretches of just really, really good behavior. And then you can always tell when they're kind of slipping and you might have to, you know, give a correction here or there. But uh, for the most part, you, can, it, you, you think about it as if he's trying and he's being a follower, Everything's gonna be easy. And we've got we got the breed in our favor. We got the breed in our favor. It's not you know a Connie um, Corso. It's not a pit bull. It's not a exactly dildo. exactly. That's true. That, that's a great point. You know, uh, we do have the breed in our favor. Yeah. These guys are known to be resource guards, though. Yep. Especially the man. He's probably yep. they're seeing. He's probably seeing the other dogs as as competition. So he's just you know naturally he probably barked at them and stuff. And then I think he realizes that he likes it because nothing bad happens to him and he gets to express big and bad. So he looks forward to doing it, it becomes a bad habit almost. Uh, but we're about to see how bad it is. So it could just be just that, it's kind of a bad habit. Or it could be something that's much more hardwired and deeper in there of, a, of a, like a, some type of trigger to, the, to another dog who's not part of the pack. Because doesn't he have pack members? Yes, he's got two okay, of them. So, so yep. that's good sign too. Yeah. He's not fighting with them. No. Nope. Okay, so as, these are all good. So if, if we're a pack, me and him, and we run into another pack, yo, be quiet, don't tell him. I know how, technically, not even literally, literally, I am better than you at dealing with the living things that come and go yes. in this world that we live in. So, um, but he doesn't care about that. What he cares is, can I win another the, recall? Come. Because we never release him. All he cares about is, can I win, can I, am I more competent in the disagreements? Yeah. And we have the ritual of like correction, little conversation, who's going to submit, who's more competent in that. That's all he really cares about in the beginning, you know? So once we start getting those under control, we're going to get a dog who listens and then everything else is just changing his response should be much easier. So technically he's, he will go crazy, right? Right now, if he sees a dog, he'll bark, lunch. Like she that. said he lays flat, he lays flat and waits for them to leash, get right? close. Yes. Is he on a leash when yes. he happens? Yes. Interesting. Yep. Okay, laying flat, waiting for him to get close. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how bad that is. Uh, maybe. Is he nervous? That's the question. You know, is, is he nervous? We'll have to see all this. So, there have been a few guy. scuffles. There have been a few scuffles. With, right, 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 right. like, apartment building, a dog loose in the hallway. Right, right, um, right, right, right. You know, situations like that. Yeah. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's let in... Hmm... Izzy first. Okay. Something small. Something small. Small and female. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Hi, baby. How are you? And today? at this point, he doesn't know if she's male or female. Nah, probably not. I don't know. 
But he sees you as a resource. Yep. But he hasn't tried anything yet. I have not Some intense him. curiosity. I bring him the scent. I said, I show him I can do it. Right? Yeah, it's not looking great, but I need him to make some choices so I can. He's not like, oh, I want to play. He started to roll. Look, him, me, the resource. Yep. <laughs> it's the that's you know I'm Dog. just playing that I'm just talking the same way as them, except I'm using the modern technology and stuff. But it, it's the, it's the conversation that they're just dying to have. Yes. To figure out who, where is this hierarchy in the house? Survival of the fittest. And so, um, good. He seems a little nervous to me too. Mm -hmm. Good, which is go figure. Very typical of dogs who are flashing out like that. Yeah. They usually absolutely. They overreact. So. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. Let's we'll dig a little deeper here. So he's changed now that the dog in the room. Yeah, he's, he's tense. He's t you know. Because he's he's stopping himself from performing what he normally does because he's assuming that I won't like it. Right. And that now he knows that I. You know, correct. So he's like, what do I do? I'm nervous. I so can't. Good, I don't good, want my normal look, coping look, skills. Look. That's nice. So he's reinforcing. Hey, good choice. You're doing great. Just do, keep doing what you're doing. Come on. Pops. Pops. Great. Good, good job. Boy. How did it happen? Come on. See how I've his face? Yeah. That's respect he's given me. Yep. That was good. That's good. the breed. I'm, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what I just did. Like look, look at that. Double all. down. Good. It's Amazing. because it's a resource. But he says she's a female. I got, he got excited. He had sexual thoughts. I said, "Hello, she's mine." And he said, oh, "I do." Yeah. Because you know that in, in the real world, them fighting words, and he's not really wanting to fight me. And all no. I did was bump him. No. I haven't even you know the dog would rip his face off. Yeah. You know all I did was take a little soft thing, go pop, knock yeah. it off, and you know so. But I also reinforce it the proper way too. I ask for submission. I know how to give affection. Let them know that I, I care about them and that I'm going to protect them and that you know I'm with you. So it's that balance, right? That's amazing. I, it's yeah, it looks great. So I'm going to go give him some affection because his response was wonderful. perfect. It was perfect. Literally, it couldn't be any better. Good boy. That's a golden for you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, Remember they're popular some for a reason, right? Yeah, it's a good dog. You know what I love about them, though? And you see this in Labs, too. Oh, my God. They love when you're proud of them. They can't. They just love it. He and is offering you full submission. Watch. He'll tell Izzy to take but, off. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let him know that I will. Once I gain his trust, I can. He'll, he'll then trust me enough to up his tolerance. And then maybe it'll be actually somewhat normal. But. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Don't like his paws being touched. Look at that. It's another dominant thing. Yeah. Nervous thing as well. Uh, he don't like that, so we're gonna have to fight about. It. Is he gonna? Is he thinking about Nat and me for touching his paws? Yep. He so knows he can nab. Yep. Right, and they do bite. Okay, yes. so it's not like he doesn't bite. Good, but he's concerned about. He wants that he's path. Yeah, he's conflicted. So I'm saying there's two paths, buddy. There's listen and don't listen. Okay. And I'm going to be there the whole way with you, back and forth. You're going to be. It's, it's going to be the two. You know, the devil and the angel on the shoulders. He gets to choose what he wants to choose, but once he goes down that path and it's no longer working out, and I'm right here saying, good boy, don't you want to be a good companion? Because he, he wants to be a good companion there too. And you know, the Goldens typically are, they like to please like that. That's why I like you guys, yeah. But they can, they can be uh, resource guarders and, and have some issues with dominance with other dogs. Yeah. Aww. We have, we have seen it before in every breed. Every dog does, Every, you know, it's around, it's out there, it's natural. Good. A little tense, tensing up a little bit. We're gonna keep talking about this stuff because it's what he needs. He just needs to have these conversations. He's been, you know, he's two years old, he's unsure of it in his own home of like, what he can and cannot do, what he can get away with. So it's leaving him listening to those emotions and that's not gonna get him in a good place. He's gonna have impulse control and he's gonna know what to do when he feels those emotions. Just. It's always going to be submit from the situation and just go. And then I'm proud of you for doing that. Nice job walking away, right? And also, if you do that, you get corrected and recalled. All right, let's bring in Riggins. You. He's in there. Okay. Okay. Adult male pity. Nah. Sorry about that. So we're also not going to allow him to just rudely walk up to him. We're going to bring the scent to him. 
And these dogs are perfect because they make just the right amount. They, know, they, they allow me to correct them just the, the right amount so that he can see. Right? Good. So now in his mind, imagine being a dog. He just had that experience with me and then he submitted to me and we were all good. And then I bring in a couple more dogs and each one I have control of. Plus, I show him I appreciate that he's not going after them. He, the underlying tone is he knows that I won't like it and that I will correct him and that's enough. And he wants to enough please. So he wants to please stop. you. There's that want to please and we, we tap into that too, right? It's because we're thinking companion. We're not thinking a dog who's just like going like this through life and listening. We want him to be proud to listen, right? Good. And that I see already is a natural thing for him, isn't it? Look at that wide snout. Yeah. Right that is face. unbelievable. The muscles. I know. Of this golden sky. <laughs> I know. He's Jack. I know. He's beautiful. beautiful. He is beautiful. He's a good boy. He's got a lot to learn, though. Oh, he's yeah. A resource, too. Oh, he's yeah. Everything in the dog world is just resources, right? That's why they'll find each other around these things. You can see the reactivity just with your yeah, that's reactivity. response to his handle. <laughs> yeah. He's, like, he's already reacting a little bit. She knows. She's doing great. That's nice. Very good react. Very good five minutes. We're not going to do that part yet. Let's let Sparky in. Okay. Sparkle! Remember, he doesn't know if she's male or female. But we're also teaching him, sit back and relax. We'll bring the scent to you. You don't get to go up Just for now. And this isn't something the owner would be doing or anything like that. This is just my relationship to be the first human to be the right proper role model. Ladies! Got any way over to control attack. Now he gets to see me control them. <coughs> I'm just gonna let him sit in this real quick. She's an odd one. It's the throw them off as a movement. Very, very fun movement. She looks so injured. Good. <laughs> yeah, she does. She comes across as pretty. Nope, this is her baseline. I really do think so. <laughs> yeah. She gets she has her own way of getting around, man. She gets around on a hike, she'll go up and down the road and take it around. I like this. Ooh. Relax, I know. You gotta work a little. All you've been doing is eating and laying around and going on hikes and living good life for the past five years. Every now and then we got to do a session. That was a complaint. He wants to go out. Yeah. He needs to go out. We're going to go right now. With some fighting words. Yeah, yeah. See, I have enough influence yep. to keep it on the verge and then show him how to get out of the situation. See, it's all here. Now try being the owner without see, any influence. See, look, look, I yeah. got the influence. You can see him dropping the bad thoughts. Yes. And that'll get him more, so he'll be either more social or he'll be, make a big mistake. Well, he looked up at you yeah, right yeah. after he had a bad thought. He look looked up at, at you. He's trying to keep his spot. Yeah, look at that right? tail. Straight up. Right. We live in this for a moment and let him make some choices here. He's holding it together enough, he's redirecting. Big marking. marking. Watch. He usually um, mm -hmm. scratches the ground, she said, after he goes. Definitely no nervousness right here. No. A little, I still see a little unsureness yeah. of like, what these dogs gonna do. That's not, that's, that's not good. It's like. Guarding his He's overreacting. Space. He thinks these dogs, he should be able to tell by way off if they're gonna, if, what their intent is. Little growl there from him for nothing. All Riggins is it's doing all good. is I understand standing why he there. Did it, but I didn't think to Such overreactions. What he's gonna learn though is that I'm, I was just about to send Riggins away. Mm -hmm. If you held in, you would have seen that I wouldn't allow that. So, if you ever feel that way, all you have to do is come to me, and I'll keep them all away. Yep. And that's going to make him feel a lot more at ease. He might even actually socialize in a few days. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yep, I agree. Um, so, especially as we start hiking as a pack. Yeah, remember Summer? One. She was playing like crazy in exactly. the yard. Exactly, so. Listen, he didn't attack. Nope, he growled. And it wasn't straight for a he bite. He ran away. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. I recalled him to me and said, oh, well, just come to me and I'll tell the dogs to, you know. Um, because we can't have fighting. It's not good. It's not good. Nice. Good boy.
Very nice. He feels great now. Very nice. Yes. He knows exactly what happened. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 100%. We're very good at setting it up and talking and making everything clear. And that's really important to do that. Oh, you feel great, Bubba. Yeah, that's nice. That's good. That's nice, boy. That's a good boy. What a beauty. You're good. She likes the diagnosis. Ow. You're good, you're good, you're good. Ow. Sorry about that, baby. Come here. Come here. There's a recall, non negotiable. She moves funny sometimes. She moves funny sometimes. All right, that's right. See, it's like he doesn't know what they're gonna look do. Look at the tail they, now. It's like he doesn't know what they're gonna do when they get here. Yeah. Okay, look, he's even weird with me putting my hand in here. Um, this is, I've seen this before, you know, this is the typical okay. result of a dog who doesn't know, is like antisocial or, or, you know, aggressive or whatever, reactive. They don't know how, other than to fight or run away, how to get through the social um, ritual. Can I get a recall again? Because we never released him. Come here, bud. Wrong person. Now he's fighting the recall a little, but we'll see what he does here. Come on. Come here. Good. Good. See that when I blow mm -hmm. on his butt? It's because he's so... He's on edge. So typical. Boy. Look, Riggins isn't worried. So, so he will learn how to socialize. Socializing should be a session. For him. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, I it's mean... it's going to happen naturally through the way that we do this. Yeah. It's like we... He lives with the pack for a bit, you know? It's kind of that, it's that thing. And so there'll be natural moments where he will open up. You know, I'm not, I'm not, you can't really force it. You can just say, don't do this, don't do this. Yeah. And then as comfort comes along, those natural moments come on. You know, it's like going to camp, man. Just like introducing him to his housemate. Yeah, it's very natural. And yeah. so I, I feel like there's a very good guy in here. Yeah. I do, I truly do. I truly That's do. That's a good boy. And honestly, I understand. <laughs> I do. I really do. <laughs> You just gotta trust me, okay? Good. Yes, I got you. You got a fun. That's right. Good boy. Oops, sorry about that shot. It's okay, this is perfect amount of pressure, okay? He's, he's, a, he's been uncomfortable a few times now. Good. Good boy. I like that. That's a good guy. All right, Frank. That's good, that's nice. That's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. Good. It's automatic as soon as you know that. Look at that tail. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's the opposite of. It's the opposite right. of standing straight up. Yeah. He's like, That's if I don't have my coping skill of attack, growl. That's right. I, I don't know what to do. That's exactly what. The, that's not from any correction nope. of mine. That's because that's the suppression of not being able to attack and not having obviously a coping yes. skill, like you said. But the coping skills he's learning right now, and he's going to have them down pat with, within a week or two. And that confidence is back, but it's the right kind of confidence. And he's not confident in the bad behavior. He's confident in the new coping skills. Yes. So it's natural for this tuck. But this is definitely not from a correction. He's no. right here with me. He's concerned about where he's keeping his eyes. He's concerned about the dogs. Yeah. So He's feeling insecure uh, because he's like, oh, I can't bite he's here. He's feeling insecure. I can't yeah. growl He took his gun away. He's yeah. a guy that only uses a gun. He's guns away. And now he's very insecure, you know. So that's all natural. Yep. That also, as he becomes more... Going out. Good. Those moments are valuable to him. Yeah, and she did a great job. Yeah. Going. Yeah. See, look at look what he says to me. Look at the tail thank now. You. He's, it's almost thank you. So as the days go on, this, the sessions go on, he'll see that I won't. I'm on your team. You have to listen to me though. Mm -hmm. But I am on your team, and you see that I'm very confident and controlling every dog we'll encounter. Dog after dog, you'll see I'm confident, and he'll be like, "This is the guy." Yeah. And then we, that's when he'll start to. The confidence will, will be the way it needs to be, which is confidence in our pack, confidence in following the leader. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh, nice. he looks good. Oh, he looks real good. That first one got messed up because Sparkle's accident. She, was, she did by accident, but she ran right into him. <laughs> Instead of going, I said go that way, she did the opposite <laughs> way because of her issue, but... Uh, so that slows down a little bit, but then as soon as I got a good one where she shoot away, you see him instantly feel better. So um, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about on repeat. I should keep showing him that. Good. Come on, bud. Break. Let's move around a little. Movement is good. Pack hikes are good. Walks are good. That threshold's going to be good too. Yep. Small. Yep.
Come in. Recall away from the dogs. Hey. Ah! Wrong person. Oh. <clears throat> Gotta now, listen, you bud. You need those corrections. Yeah. Because it needs to be very relevant when I boot. What he's gonna learn is when you feel that way, you see him snarl. Yeah. Snarl at her. When you feel, and then he looked at me and he stopped. Now what he's learning is when you feel that way, you come to me. Immediately. Come right to me. Yeah. And I'll see the dogs coming and I'll tell them to go. This is just a, a stepping stone to get him to where he needs to go, but this will be the part of the coping skill. And again, my dogs are perfect. I don't know how to do it. Like she made that mistake. I know. It's just enough so I can. She's could a just, boundary tester. It's just. I correct it just enough so that they always listen in these circumstances, but they do, they just, they push just slightly. So then I can show him, I keep them away. Good. And you don't even have to fight. In fact, if you fight, we haven't, he hasn't seen that problem. yet because he hasn't tried to fight. He's growled, he's snarled, he doesn't try to bite. If he tries to bite, that's when I'm going to step in, mm -hmm. you know, and we're going to, and he's going to get a correction from the pack yeah. leader because this is my pack. You don't bite my pack. Right now he's getting these little corrections on the e collar here and there, but. If he tries to bite, it's a whole other thing to talk about. All right? And then we get rid of the bites, too. And then we might actually have a gentleman. He might not be the most thrill, you know, thrillingly social guy, but he can get through, uh, hey, how are you? I, yeah. I, you know, I learned that myself. Yeah. I can now say, hey, how are you? <laughs> and it took some work and years of therapy, but <laughs> I can say, hi, how are you? And that's all I need him to be able to do. No. So basically, just don't react. We're not even going to expect him to say hello to a dog, obviously, that he doesn't no. know. Yeah. But we are going to expect for him to just listen to us and be neutral, be mm -hmm. passive. Trust that, you know, the dogs aren't going to come up on you. That kind of thing. All right? So, All right, buddy. Good job. So far, so good. Yep.